welcome back to The Hand Toolery. I'm Andrew Malacy, and today I'm going to be doing a review of some chisels I got from a company called Vinkel Steel. I looked up the name online and see if the, maybe the Google Translate could help me understand what the name means or um, how to pronounce it. So I think it's pronounced Vinkel Steel. And I just want to be transparent. They reached out to me a couple weeks ago and they asked me to review their chisels. No strings attached. And the only thing they asked is that I do review them as a video. What's interesting is they did say if I had a timeline, I said I don't have a timeline because I'm not a great carver, I don't really know much yet. I'd like to be able to do some things with them first before I can go ahead and say anything at all, even a first impression. And I was fine with the fact, that, in fact, they were fine with that. They said no rush, just wanted to have an idea. If you look on Amazon, the Winkle Steel chisels have pretty glowing reviews. I think there's like seven reviews as of today. And uh, so here's the product box again. They have glowing reviews, and uh, one of them is like a eh, review, and actually some of the things they say I've noticed too, but not quite to the degree that person says as a negative. I have wondered if maybe some of the positive reviews, because it's such a new company, are maybe friends of the company, but I also saw there are verified purchases there too. So all that said, I'm gonna stop talking about the experience in general for the most part, and then I'm gonna focus on the chisels. So I'm gonna give you an idea of what you actually get, uh, what my thoughts on that are, and then basically at the end, would I buy it for the $100, $110 price range, okay? So let me bring it down and show the chisels. All right, so here it is, the chisel roll. I just rolled it back up, I didn't tie it or anything, but this is, for a lot of people, I mean, I think almost everybody mentions it in the Amazon comments, but this is a waxed canvas roll, from what I can tell, and it just shines. There is no doubt that this is a great roll. The other thing is, it's got these brass rivets um, in the brass, well, I think they're brass, or maybe they're like a, a bronzed brass or something like that, I don't know. And uh, rivets with the leather straps, that's great. And it's nice touches, for sure. The stitching looks good. The canvas bag is just, I love it. I really do love it. And I know it'll keep them safe, waterproof and all that stuff. All right, so whenever you open it, you're gonna have everything covered in little plastic, um, you know, plastic sleeves. That's actually kind of annoying, but it's okay. So you can, you'll take them off and it'll be fine. Each one comes with its own little protector. And one thing I'll say is I'm not impressed with the fact that they don't have specialized protectors for each one. I get it saves price, uh, saves on the price. They can keep the cost down, but it's like for this one, for example, the fit on this is really awkward. So yeah, it doesn't really go in the whole way. And I'm nervous to put it on, quite frankly. Um, so what do you get? You get uh, you get 12 total chisels. You get some gouges, you get some V gouges, and uh, you get a skewed chisel right here. This is a skewed chisel. I mean, that is wonderful for, I just touched the edge. Okay, I'm okay. And um, wonderful for uh, half line dovetails. The actual box has the list of it. If you wanna know what's the actual tools come in, it's on Amazon. And again, they've got a bunch of reviews there, mostly positive, maybe one so far negative. So uh, you get this gouge, this large gouge here, it's a 20 millimeter. Then you get uh, another 20 millimeter, but it's like a bent gouge. I think they're calling it a bowl gouge. So, I mean, I don't know, you know, I told you I'm not an expert on this stuff, but there it is. It looks good. It's machined fairly well from what I can tell. There is like the lines on the inside there, but the back is quite a nice, almost mirror finish. It's got the grinding marks. Can you see that? Can you see, can you see the camera and the bench? And overall, like the handle is sub substantial. I've whacked on this thing a little bit with a mallet already. So I've got no actual problems or complaints with the chisel quality themselves. The steel seems to be fine. I'm not an expert in that stuff, but they, they sharpen up quick enough. They came out of the roll. They would cut, but it wasn't the best cut, obviously. And so I, I we all know that you have to sharpen an edge. But for the person who's not really that experienced, you know, it will start them in the carving. But I do suspect that it will be a slightly frustrating experience for them because they're not perfectly, I mean, they're not that sharp. Some of them might have cut me. Some of them definitely wouldn't have cut me. But... Uh, by just by touching the edge. Now, they were fairly easy to take to the stone and clean up. I went, I did go through coarse, medium, and then fine or extra fine, and then strop them. So that's a normal uh, sharpening routine. And I think within five minutes on most of them, at, you could get them pretty razor sharp, if not scary sharp. 
and you'll be good to go. The other thing is that, the, like I said, the handles are good and substantial. They Most of them are fit fairly well. There are some that, like the, this one, for example, looks good. If you look around, it's fairly tight fit all the way around the tang. And then I found some others that are like, this one's sunk in a little farther. Okay, no big deal. And then if you look at this one, this one's a little interesting. There's an actual gap. Can you see it? I would call that maybe a millimeter, half a millimeter, at least, right there. So right where next to my finger is, I'm gonna try and bring it in. There, you see that? That's a gap. And that is what one reviewer pointed out. <clears throat> and I had a couple like that. Not all of them. Some of them, are, like I said, are just recessed in a little farther than others. Some of them have gaps. All of them, for me, have been perfectly firm. I never thought twice about just wailing on them with my mallet or just using them nice and soft, you know, just with a carving mallet. So no issues with that. But yeah, some people do have issues with fit and finish. Now, as far as, like I said, the quality of the steel goes, you saw that they do put a good nice edge on it. I'm, I'm sorry, they do have a good um, polish to them. So I was getting sharper edges with this faster than with like the cheap Harbor Freight ones. And I put tons of attention in to get those. And some of them, like they didn't even finish the top side of the edge. Like they didn't grind it uh, smooth. So I think immediately you're gonna get better results with these, obviously. And we're talking about 10 to 15 times the price. So you should. Now, as far as comparisons to other chisels out there, I can't be sure. I've only ever bought the Harbor Freight ones. And for me, those were fine at the time. Now, if I do a side-by-side, -side, I'm gonna say that if you have experience, you're gonna want not the Harbor Freight. That's for sure. Nevertheless, I've used the Harbor Freight somewhat. And, you know, they, they work-ish. This one, however, immediately, maybe because they were free, I don't know, but, but they're definitely better. And immediately I felt more confident using them. I could do make them do what I wanted better. And the other thing is that uh, I just enjoyed the experience more. Like everything was set right. The bevel seemed to be fine straight out of the roll here. So I was ecstatic. I've done some practice runs. This one, this one is just using a chisel and then some of like these V gouges to, to mark in the lines and then some of the, the, the other gouges, uh, like the small, I don't even know what they would be called. Right there, use one of these to just sort of make sweeping curves and whatnot. So it was really simple. Um, made that, so I feel good about that. It's not the best, but I didn't use a ton of these, I will say. So that felt good. Then I made like, just, I don't know why, I wanted to try the letter T because it's got two straight lines across the grain and with the grain. Then the letter S I wanted to try. And it turned out okay. I found that I'm much, much better whenever I am, um, when I'm just tapping with the mallet. Freehand, I'm pretty terrible. So I went freehand on this one and it was okay. But then I tapped with the mallets just very, very lightly and it worked well. I made a heart with a little arrow through. I'm fairly satisfied with that. I'm not gonna win any prizes, but it was okay. I used walnut scraps because I found, and in my experience, it carves a lot better than other things because there's not so much difference like pine between the growth rings and the not growth rings. So I made a cool little spiral there. I felt like that went well. Then I did a relief carving and that, I used this one right here, this one, I think. Yeah, or actually I used this, this right here uh, for it. it. Worked really well, just sort of defined the edges and removed it. And I made like a little flame, eh, my design was poor. Then I made my letter A because it's got straight lines. And then I just wanted to see how well I could control the chisel depth and uh, fineness versus thickness. And then, I've, I mean, overall, that was pretty quick and it went fairly well. So getting right into it, I can say that it was much, much less time just getting into the carving with these chisels than when it, with my other chisel review, which is the Harbor Freight. So there's that. I've also carved a spoon, a little fork and a knife, and I'll show those in a second. So I guess we come back to the whole issue of, I didn't pay for them. They cost 100 to 110 bucks. 
And there is like a coupon today, at least I saw it today, for like, you'll get seven bucks off. Like it's just a coupon, take seven bucks off. Okay, so you get it for like $103 or something. And I guess that's a big issue. I didn't pay for these. And of course, they're way, way, way better than the Harbor Freight. Um, first impressions on those, eh. First impression on these, really, really great. Now, does that make me an authority? Are these gonna be, uh, is this $100 set gonna be the chisel killer of any high-end brand out there? Probably not. Again, I don't even know if they make these. Perhaps they just are, they're outsourced and they, they brand them. I don't know. Their Instagram page, their Instagram account has like four photos and it's had four pictures ever since the day I first looked them up when they emailed me, just to make sure I wasn't getting scammed to give out my address for no reason. I had no idea about them could barely find anything about them at the time. And even now it's not that much more information out there. Their website exists in English and it charges you in uh, Swedish Krona. So I'm pretty sure they're a Swedish brand. And you know, we know about like Swedish brands out there in the tool market that are pretty good, right? All this to say is, I think if you wanna drop $100 on a set and get good bang for your buck, you're, you're gonna at least consider buying this set. And because they look pretty much the same as other sets, exactly the same price, just with a different brand name. So there's that. The other thing is that um, if you maybe wanna get into carving and you have a hundred bucks lying around and you don't know anything, sure, this is the type of set you're gonna to wanna to consider. Uh, $100 for 12 chisels is still, I think, a probably a pretty good deal. And I said, I, they come out in a, they come packaged really, really cool with the roll. Um, just a, an, a you know, diminutive um, low key, brown box there inside an Amazon box. At least that's where they were shipped to me. So summarizing what I said I was gonna say in, in the whole video here, I thought what came with the thing was a really great package. It's a great roll for, I think everybody, ought, I mean, the canvas roll is awesome. The amount of chisels is great. The, what actually came was well done, machined seemingly, seemingly fairly well. Some, some minor issues that I don't think would be, an, would be a problem. For that person who's got a hundred bucks burning a hole in their pocket and they want to buy carving chisels and they're looking at stuff on Amazon and I, I can say at the very least, although I was a little hesitant about like who this company is emailing me at first, um, I can say now that they are real chisels and they work well and I've enjoyed the process. So take that for what it's worth. I'm, this isn't a whole out endorsement for them. I'm not saying they're, uh, I'm not saying anything besides my impression has been positive and I'm not a, I'm not a very experienced carver, but I can see myself getting into it. And I have these tools, so thanks. So I'm glad I was sent the tools and they've been working well. In the end, I hope the video has been enjoyable and more useful than anything for you. If you're considering these tools or ones like them, you know, I hope this at least uh, gives you more information to go off of before you spend your hard earned money. And uh, I really do take it seriously that I, I have people listening to what I say about them and considering my opinion. So I really do appreciate that. And I'm honored that you would take your time to, to listen to my opinion on them. So with that said, remember, uh, I wasn't told that I had to say anything. I was told I should do a the, the parameters for the for them giving me the tools were that I had to do a review on it, and here it is. So if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the description. I tried to just address the general stuff overall because it's just the first impressions from a guy who doesn't do a whole lot of carving. So there you go. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you around for the next one. Mm -hmm.